Good morning. I'm at Blue Canyon to play the canyon course. The day started funny already. Don't think my driver's been here before. Um, I got a new driver and instead of going on the main road he cut through all the back roads, shortcut, and he saved absolutely no time whatsoever. We arrived here on the exact same time as I would expect to. <laughs> then he dropped me at the caddy shack instead of the the front lobby. So I had to walk across and change a shirt. Most shirts out here are European slash American sizes, but in here they got a few shirts which are Thai sizes. So I just grabbed a large and of course it wasn't a large was it? Or medium rather. Uh, then I had one of those never trust a fart in Thailand moments. So a uh, quick dash into the locker room, just coming out now to find my caddy. I can't see any carts on the golf course so we're going to have some long walks, this is going to be a slow round and we're going to be a million miles away from our golf ball so touch and go whether we get a good one or not. Yeah, okay, so single golfer tucked off the tenth again because it's so busy on the front. Found this fairway bunker. Hook off the tee. And there's so much sand in it. It's so difficult to get the ball first. Try and get a four this time. Well, I feel I would have done a lot better if I'd started from the front and had a warm up. Three wood this time. Oh, too much. Delay again. Yeah, it's tough. Last shot was hooked. Oh, you hit a three. I hit a three. So, no driving range again. So, we're making corrections as we go around. So, I cured the hook by hitting a much bigger fade than I wanted to. I hope I don't end up in this monkey grass rough because it's an absolute bastard. One of the issues of this course is the amount of sand in these dam bunkers. One big foot slip coming up. Oh. Yeah. Bugger. In the monkey grass. Horrible stuff. Driving range. Yeah, right. I just checked my aim after that last shot and I'm just not aiming the correct way, so no driving range. Big cock ups. Now I got to the ball, I got 96. My choice was 6 7 iron or hybrid, which is a bit sad, so she's just gone back to the cart. Now she is a good caddy. She just we didn't know where my ball, in this case, we didn't know where my ball was and we hadn't spotted the frag is right on the front. But she knows what she's doing. Yeah, the rough closed the club face a little bit. That was quite funny, actually. 
she meant to bring me the nine and the seven. The nine, because we thought that's what we had, was a nine iron left. And the seven, in case I w wanted to go under the tree. So she knew, she knew what she was doing. She's just having to grab the six instead of the nine. And we've all done that. And of course, she still had the hybrid tucked under her arm from the previous shot. She hadn't managed to get it back in the bag. But I got put at it. Shame that the rough there shut the face of the wedge. About 25 feet. But she knows he's green, so I've got a chance, even from 25. One issue with starting early is you're chasing the green keepers, which mucks up the sound a bit. It's a bit annoying. Another issue of forever changing golf clubs, especially if one of them is a slow green, is coming back to fast greens and being a little bit afraid of it. Big number, big number. Okay, first time driver. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Running in my eyes. Down the left. Yeah, left right. <laughs> So this time around I've been given a much better line. Down the left, allow the wind to bring it back. I must be aiming about 30 yards left of where I did last time. And even then I've found the right rough. Goodness knows where you're supposed to aim off that tee. Caddy's brought my driver so that I can walk to the next tee while she drives round. But I'm not going to the next tee. I'm going to that drink stop above my head. Boy, do I need a break already. How many holes have I played? It's absolutely baking today. How about this guys, I've just stopped in the drink stop. First thing my caddy does, she goes in the fridge, gets me a frozen cold towel. And it, it smells nice, it's not just a wet towel, it, there's something in it that smells really good. I think I got my mother carrying me bag today, which is a good thing. Don't ever complain about getting an old caddy. They've, they've done this for years and they know exactly what they're doing with somebody from the frozen north. Keepers, cool. Yeah, this, this smells good. All I need now is shampoo and a good drive up the next. So I've been told to go left of the tree again. I said, sod that, I'm going right of it. I'm going over the canyon, over the bunkers, over everything. And I will admit, I only just made it. And it's left me this very funny 55 yards. Unfortunately, this sucks back off the front. Bugger. I think it stopped too quick. Yeah, that false front kind of got me. So I'm chipping, I've been told it's uphill and into the grain and I've forgotten that I'm not at Phuket. So that's a big mistake. But I'm in good company. Apparently when Tiger won here he drove this green and three jabbed it so I got some good company. Yeah I guess I'm not at uh, Phuket Country Club today. Yeah, when it's uphill and into the grain, I thought, God, I need to hit this chip. No, I didn't. That's always a difficulty of moving round, especially if you go to a golf course where, you know, most of the greens are much of a muchness. They're all more or less the same. And then you go to a course where it's slow and it can be very difficult to adjust, as I'm sure you guys all know that. You all know that. So why am I telling you? It's only a bogey. Who gives a damn? This place is really nice, but I'm going to give you a verdict later. Oh, 
So I'm going home from Phuket Country Club, from the Phuket Airport. Yeah, I'll give you a verdict later and it might surprise you. Pull it round. Come round. Round a bit. On. Oh. Oh, it's on. Go. Oh. Yay. But now okay. Same, same last time. Well, I've played this island green twice now and hit it twice. So I'm happy with that, if nothing else. And the putting is starting to get a little bit better as I get into the pace of this green. I just can't get it. I just can't get it today. Almost better. Right, driver. I've been told to use driver and I'm still a bit dubious about it. So I don't exactly commit to that one. Although I've hit it on the correct line this time. It was a bit low, it was a bit skanky. I'm not driving my best today. And I'm in the rough with it below my feet. So this is going to come out a bit low and a bit skanky. Uh. And it, it was so low, in fact, it skipped through the bunker. Which means I've actually got a decent chance. Until I hit a flyer. That's gone absolutely pig in miles. Number 16, no driver this time. It's three wood, which is what I should have hit last time. It's in the middle of the fairway. The it's trees. not tucked up under the trees. Okay, I can actually play this golf hole instead of being way over there on the right with the wrong club. Didn't fancy going at the flag. Flag was tucked up a bit. And I'm more than happy just to put this down and, oh, well, get the par, but made it a little bit harder than I should have done, really. Well, the camera can't see the flag, but I can. It's more towards the front this time. So it should be a little easier. And I've just missed the green. Bugger. But no sand, no water, just a bit of rough to deal with.
Putting a little bit better now. Ooh, good putting. Yeah. Bad putting at the start though. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of wind around now, so we're going five iron. Just to make sure I get over the bunker. It's come out low and I missed this flag by two inches. Well, this one's a bit high tariff, ball above the feet, and I want to fade around this tree. I certainly can't get over the top of it. Oh, left. And yeah, oh. a bit high tariff for me. Oh, bunker. And now we're in the bunker, and there's just tons of sand in it. This is just stupid. Alright guys, so I said I was going to give you a verdict on this golf course. Now the first round was ruined by a god awful caddy. Like for instance on this hole we've got to drive the estate road. I could be a hundred yards away from my golf ball. But that won't matter today because I've got a great caddy. Now obviously it's a championship course. They've played the Johnny Walker here three times. So it's good right? Except for a couple of things. The bunkers have got six or seven inches of sand in them. They're incredibly difficult to play out of uh, from a fairway and green side. Very, very difficult. You know, you only want that much sand in a bunker, not, not bloody six or seven inches. And of course you've got this monkey grass, rough, and in places it's in the fairway, just like Phuket Country Club. And it's bloody horrible stuff to play off. So that is another down vote. I think if I could have a third round here and really get to know the course okay, then I would say, yeah, this is a good course. But at the moment, I'm going to say it's sort of like 60-40 good course. But I'm enjoying today. I'm really enjoying today. I've got a great caddy. I don't know how old she is. Probably the other side of 60. She's really looking after me. So I'm having a good day. And let's finish off this good day. Yeah, I'll add to that. The two things that spoil this golf course is the amount of sand in the bunkers and the monkey grass everywhere. All right, it's not in all the fairways yet but it's gonna get there and I'm in the monkey grass now with a shit lie I don't think you can have a championship course with monkey grass plus the other failing is the complete lack of cart path that's actually near the play but today I've got a really good caddy even if I can't put Right. 
quick down, quick down, quick, 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 quick. Not bad. That's okay. Yeah. Absolute shit lie in this grass, so this is about the absolute max I can hit. Okay. And even then it's come out low yeah. like a bullet, yeah. which is actually useful okay. here. I don't know if I've zapped this wrong or not, or whether it's a little bit fat or not. But essentially we just oh, don't make it. Go. 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 Which is a shame. And I picked the wrong chipping club. Should have gone sand wedge there. I went pitching wedge. And this is the result. Although I lipped it. So we've uh, we've caught up a four ball and I've kind of like switched off a little bit because we're sitting there hanging around. You know, that gap wedge from 100 yards, that was a bit ambitious, wasn't it? And then I caught it a little fat. Part three next and we've got three groups on the tee, so. Yeah. Let's have a drink. This is straight down the wind. Caddy said seven iron. I said, I'm worried about the front bunker, so I'll take six and she was spot on right. One sixty five back into the wind. So I'm taking the six, but there's a possibility that I've lasered the wrong target here and not got the top of the flag. Because that's all I can see is the very top of the flag. And I'm here. I mean this has gone miles. If that flag really was one sixty five, I've hit this about one eighty five. But at least this bunker didn't have a ton of sand in. Well certainly not up the side where I was. And I've still got a par chance. Turn! Oh, you... <laughs> Bogey! 490 down the wind. So this is one drive where you can lean on it a bit. Because there's a reward at the end. And that's a monster. 183, 5 iron, uphill, looking for a jumper. All right. Oh, that's over the head. Start back, start back. Uh, yeah. No, no, Lord. Lord, Lord, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see some faces? Is it, is it, is it on a video? This is on video, yeah. Right. Just a regular guy doing his thing in Phuket. <laughs> wow. We're two caddies. And you've got you and... Lord. Lord. We've got you Lord. and Lord. My Lord. name Lord. is Chuck. All right, Chuck. <laughs> Where are you from, Chuck? Uh, no, my name is Richard. I'm from Australia. Right. I, I would have never guessed with all those beers you were drinking. Right. I tell you, we get, we get, we get tagged you know, unfairly by those English bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I've played g golf with a lot of Australians and I know it. Well, right. And, and, and how are you doing? Well, the last five holes behind this four ball in front who are really slow, I've, I've made some bogeys. Mate. I don't know which, who they are, this Mate. four ball. Right. In case, in case you're looking for the whinging palm, it's the guy with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Well, are you off to number 10 now? Yeah. Have a good back nine. All right, and you too, mate. We'll see you there. No, I'm, I'm finished. I started on 10. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then you have a good afternoon. Yeah, cheers. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you fancy this for a chip? Well, this is the 9th, which is my 18th. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you back home in Blighty. Ta-ra!